For the first time this season, the Orleans Firebirds have taken down the Bourne Braves this time by a score of 6-4. to four. It's a post-game edition of Tomahawk Talk. Here up the third baseline at Doran Park, Ethan Frank, Max Tanzer, and Calvin Christoforo with you. And Max, I'll start with you. The Braves had opportunities, but just a couple of innings they let get away, and they couldn't get back from that. Absolutely, and I think that you look back at the first inning and the eighth inning where you allowed, of course, the Firebirds to get out in front. The first inning, Fisher gives up a couple home runs, bounces back in a big way, four, four scoreless innings to follow that. Then the eighth inning, I think Willis was left out a little bit too long. A tough situation for Cameron by to inherit, and unfortunately the game got away. Yeah, Calvin, it really didn't even feel like the Braves played that poorly no. tonight. They out hit the Firebirds, but just left too many runners on the table. Yeah, Max and I talked about it post game. It was just a game that was rough around the edges. They out hit Orleans 9-5, to five, but they made two errors compared to Orleans 9. It was a really wacky eighth inning when Orleans scored the three runs to take control of this game and put it away 6-2 to two at the time. A hit by pitch on an 0-2 count, a bunt that rolled perfectly up the first baseline. A couple of bounces went the Firebirds way. Only one hard hit ball in this game after the first inning, but it was a big two run single that drove in the fourth and fifth run for Orleans that really put them ahead and ended this game. Tomorrow, the Braves look ahead. Four runs is going to get it done, especially with this pitching staff the Braves have tonight and have every single night. So offensively, not a terrible night. Four runs on nine hits. They'll get back in action tomorrow. Yeah, tonight not as consequential as a loss tomorrow would be against second place Hyannis. A loss to an Eastern Division team just not as important as a game against Western Division opponents. And Bourne has two of those in a row against the top two teams in the West in Hyannis tomorrow and Katuit on Sunday. We will see you at both of those games for pre- and post-game Tomahawk Talk. That'll do it for Calvin and Max. I'm Ethan, and we'll see you at 540 tomorrow.